This golfer plays a hard to find vintage putter. Hey and welcome to What's in Your Bag Golf. Today we are at Hillcrest Golf Course in Kansas City and I'm with Adam. Adam is a super cool guy. We had been trying to get together for a few weeks now and we finally got a round in just nine holes at Hillcrest Golf Course and afterwards I managed to snag his bag. Uh, as always, stay around till the very end and I will chime in with my favorite part of Adam's bag. All right, today I'm here at Hillcrest Golf Course, just finished playing nine holes with Adam, right? Yes, sir. Yep, it was a good time. So Adam, how long have you been playing golf? I've been playing golf on and off for probably 20 to 25 years. Okay. Um, I started uh, in early high school, junior high, uh -huh. played off and on. We had a golf club in, in school. I grew up out in the St. Louis area. Yeah. So my school was very small. We didn't have any any real funding for any sports. So right. it was either basketball or football or, you know, that was it. So we had a golf club where uh, some of us would go with one of the coaches and play golf after school every once in a while. So that kind of got me into golf, mm -hmm. you know. And then you kind of didn't play for a while and picked it back up? Yeah, and so uh, I hit college and took a break from golf. You know, life happened and yeah. my interests changed. And, you know, about uh, about 10 years later, I picked it back up for a couple of years. And then, you know, life happened again, took another break. And then here in the last couple of years, I really have gotten into it. And, I, you know, I've always loved the game. And it's just something that... Uh, it's a good getaway mm -hmm. from, from life and yeah. from stress and you know even even when you don't hit the ball well and play terribly you know it's still fun yeah. love, love the game so awesome so let's get to your clubs starting from sure. the top end what driver are you playing so I use uh, the new Wilson Dynapower uh -huh. driver um, I believe a 10 9, nine degree loft uh -huh. nine and a half yeah um, I hit it about 250 you yeah. know, 250 carry if I, if I catch it good um, I can go up to about 280. Okay. You know, longest I've hit it with wind assistance, of course, is uh, like 330. Wow. But that was, it was just an insane day. The wind was really helping. <laughs> but uh, you know, on average, uh, I carry about 250 or so. Yeah. And but uh, the driver is probably my my least reliable club, like most most uh, guys. You know, yeah. I, I have trouble hitting it on the fairway, yeah. as you saw today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, from there down, I got uh, a Wilson D9 three wood. Okay. Um, so the, the the reason I picked up the Wilsons, uh, I watch watch a lot of YouTube content for golf just right. to see what's out there, and mm -hmm. um, uh, we have a we have a Casey Golf Group here right. locally, and uh, one one of the members worked for uh, the company called Edwin Watts. Right. And uh, you know, I went in there and talked to him, and we—I I swung some different clubs, and I saw a review on the Wilson, and I, I figured, hey, let's go try it out. Right. You know, it's 150 less than the next popular current model. Right. And I fell in love with it, and, really? and I was hitting it, hitting it straight-ish, and uh, you know. Um, W with this guy helping me, we changed the stat, the the shaft, and mm -hmm. was hitting it really well. And and I really like the club. Um, it's got a real, real solid, real sleek look. Yeah. Um, you know, it's real low key. Yeah. Not flashy, not shiny. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so you're thinking that just because it's the value, but you're not losing performance. Exactly. Yeah, compared and to so, like the other brands. Yeah, and in in my you know in my search for a new driver, because so I went from a, a tailor made M2. Okay. Which which year do you remember? It was like, the the newer ones, like the 17. 17? Yeah, yeah, the uh -huh. one without the slidable weights. Yeah. And it was great. Um, when you know uh, it had the wrong shaft in it. Yeah. You know this. I just bought it secondhand off of Facebook Marketplace, and. So when I could catch it good, it, it would fly, but you know, it, it left a lot to be desired. I sliced it a lot with that club, and uh, so yeah. So you I figured kind of got fit. Yeah, and so uh, I I got a you know I started a new job at the beginning of the year, and I figured what better way to celebrate than with a new driver. So yeah, of course, I picked up a driver. Did you get the three with it at the same time? I did not. So. Um, it just uh, pure happenstance, I was uh, at shopping around for golf. But, uh -huh. You know, on a work day, I was out for lunch, and I was like, "Hey, let's stop in the golf the golf shop down there at Evan Watts and see what they got." And you know, I started swinging that. My uh, my previous three wood was uh, an old Callaway Warbird. Oh wow! Like, like a, really old. Like a, yeah, the steelhead ones. Like the '90s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'd swung that for a long time. Really loved the club, but I figured it was time to time to upgrade. Uh -huh. Okay. And so, uh, you know, I, I swung this and I hit it really good. And you know, it's a uh, it's a couple years old. This is a D9 model, so I think that's last year, or the year before. Before uh, the Dynapower. Wilson, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And cool. so. 
when I catch that club good, I can do 240 to 260. Okay. You know, it's sometimes I feel like I should hit that more than the driver, to be really? honest. Really? Yeah. You hit that off the ground too? I do. I can hit, I hit off the deck or, or off the tee. You know, mm -hmm. it just depends. Um, on the tee box, I'll, I'll tee it real low, so it's yeah. almost like hitting it off the deck. But uh, yeah, again, another great club. Yep. Love it. Awesome, man. Um, down from there, it's a Titleist TS3. TS3 hybrid? Three hybrid, yeah. yeah. Um, is that a three hybrid or is that a it's a two it, hybrid or four it's hybrid? A, it's a 19 degree, so it's just a three three yeah. hybrid. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I had a gap in between my irons and in my fairway wood, and I didn't really know if I wanted a five wood to fill the gap. And so, again, out golf shopping, as I have way too much free time here <laughs> in, in between a couple of jobs. So. Uh -huh. um, I picked that up. It's got the right shaft on it. It's got an almost identical shaft to my driver. So I was, I, you know, just, sure. I was like, hey, let's swing it and see what yeah. happens. Yeah. And if it's the right distance and it feels good, well, then I'll add yeah. it to the bag, you know? Cause, yeah. So the gap the gap I have is like uh, like carrying 200 and then, you know, the, the three wood, if I catch it right, carries about 240 okay. on, on, on a good day. Yeah. So I wanted something in between, you know, something that would that would carry and then roll out to about 225. Yeah. Which, when I catch that club good, it does. That's what it and is. So it's yeah, it's yeah. like perfect gap filler. Um, it's also a good rescue club. You know, we played in some thick stuff today. Yeah, it was, it was really thick. Yeah, 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 and uh, it it's a good rescue. It's a good rescue when you're getting that stuck in that thick stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, again, I didn't want a five wood necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean. Maybe, maybe not, but you know, when I swung this, I swung that one in a ping uh, for the 425 hybrid yeah, yeah. of the same loft, and the sound just drove me away from it. Okay. You know, so it, it sounds a lot better. Uh, just It sounds more pure. You know, the ping's got that high pitched thump, yeah. I guess, you know, with a signature ping sound. I wasn't a fan of it, so. Okay. All right. And then from there, it looks like you got some Callaways. Yeah. So uh, since the last time we, we hung out, um, I picked up some Callaway Apex Pros. Yeah. Uh, the 19s. Yeah. So another friend in the in the golf group actually traded them into Golf Galaxy well well before I, I knew them. And uh, so I recently went to PXG to get a fit an iron fitting. Yeah and found out that my best iron swings and contact come with uh, an inch over and standard standard lie. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it was a, a very similar shaft style too. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I, again, out golf shopping. <laughs> <laughs> um, out golf shopping and uh, I found these and, and I swung them quite a bit at uh, Golf Galaxy of all uh -huh. places. And you know, I, I come to find out through our chat message group that this gentleman traded them in. He told me what he traded them in for, so I was able to get a really good deal out of Golf Galaxy over them. And, you know, of, of all the irons I've owned as an adult, I feel like the contact is best with these. They're very forgiving, mm -hmm. even, even though they're borderline blade style, yeah. I mean, kind of. But uh, they have some cavity, too. They do have some cavity, yeah. yeah. So there's some forgiveness. But, uh, the you know, the, the contact is, is real pure, and it, it's easy. Yeah. You know, which is with, I, I shoot about an 18 to 22 handicap. So sure. the more forgiveness and help I can get, the better. Yeah. You know. And do you go from four to, so I see, is it a combo set or is it like uh, just a Apex Pros throughout? It's a combo set. So the four and five are, are Apex CFs, uh -huh. which are the, you know. The more forgiving. Slightly more forgiving, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from uh, from six down to uh, pitching wedge and gap wedge, yeah, they're, they're the Apex, Apex Pros. Pros. Yeah. And honestly, between the two, there's slight difference, you know, when you catch mm -hmm. it, they're all forged. So they're all, they all feel really feel solid. Great. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the the four and the five are, are definitely more distance clubs yeah. and, and not workability clubs sure. like the rest of them. So because you were coming from really game improvement irons before, right? Yeah. So I had uh, prior to that I had tailor made PSI irons, yeah. which were definitely game improvement. Yeah. And you know when I could hit them well, I hit them well. But being an inch short, yeah. and I'm pretty tall. I would. And they were them. regular flex, right? Like isn't that yeah, they were saying? regular flex yeah. also, so. and so that was another another struggle. Um, you know, when I could hit them, I could hit them pretty good, right. but uh, they just weren't consistent for me. You sure. know, I, I bought them secondhand. And again, the only club that's new in my bag is the driver. You know, I've bought everything else secondhand, either through uh, stores Facebook. or Facebook yeah. or, yeah. That's the way to go. There's deals to be had for sure. <laughs> There's deals to be had, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just got, you just got to hunt for them, you yeah. know. You just got to keep looking. Exactly. Yeah. So four to pitching wedge, so you know four and five are the CFs, 
60 pitching wedge are the, the pros, and then you go to some title wedges, I see? I do, I have a mix of Vokies and uh, there's a BV in there. Okay. So again, picked them up second hand. Yeah. Um, What's the loft on those? The loft on those goes 50, 54, and 60. Okay. So, uh, pretty on, traditional wedge yeah, setup. Yeah, on the wedges, so like uh, 60 is my most used wedge. Okay. You know, I, I like to hit flop shots with that. Um, the 54 will do like uh, anywhere from 80 yards in if okay. I want to hit a, like a like a low pitch. Yeah. And then the 50 is you know 100, 105 okay. in. You know, just yeah. just a standard standard that far out. Yeah. Or if I need to bump and run around the green, I'll, I'll do like a 54 or 50. Yeah. If I'm feeling adventurous, I'll even pull out the eight iron and bump and run with the eight iron, sure. which is you know another YouTube trick that somebody somebody's thrown out there. But right, right. But yeah, um, the I'd say. Of the three, of, of all the wedges I have, like I don't hit the the approach wedge in, in the Apex set mm -hmm. ever. That much. Yeah. No, because the, the loft is very similar to to you know the 50, but I just it, I don't feel like it bites as much. Got it. You know. So. Yeah. But. So you use a specialized wedge for for those kind of shots, basically. Yeah, yeah. I like to I like to be able to spin the ball if I can. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. Uh, again, hitting flop shots, you know, it's one of my favorite things to do around the green. So if I can, if I can stop the ball mm -hmm. reliably, then that's what I want to do. Yeah. You know, in, in other case, if I want to bump and run, or you know, with the pitching wedge in the, in the CF, the the Apex Pros, if I need to hit 115, 120, then yeah, I'll pull that club out and hit it off a tee, you know, on a short par three. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, awesome, man. And you have a brand new putter. Right? I do. I, I have a brand new to me putter. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I was previously using an Odyssey two ball mm -hmm. SRT, which they call it like the Saturn or something like that. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's got a ring around it. It's, it's a pretty neat putter. Yeah. But uh, I bought that one secondhand as well. And the, the you know the grip was kind of experimental. It was a the jumbo max grip with a flat side, and it was extra long, so it was almost arm break. Yeah. You know, arm break length, mm -hmm. but not quite. And I just didn't feel like I really ever hit it straight yeah. or, you know, hit it in the direction I wanted to reliably. Got it. So that and the feel was kind of off, you know, it felt kind of clicky. And uh, so I've been eyeing Ben and Artie putters for a long time and mm -hmm. um, specifically Malice style because I like the weight. Yeah. You know, I like to be able to swing, I like to be able to swing through with mm -hmm. the putter weight mm -hmm. and, and just not have to put a whole lot of swing effort into putting. Yeah. And so I found uh, this this baby Ben, Ben and Artie, uh, Ben Hogan putter online for yeah. an incredible deal, and I couldn't pass it up. So. Yeah, so you picked it up yesterday. Yeah, I picked it up yesterday, and so today was the first day on the course with it, and you know you, you were making. I was yeah. putting pretty good. Oh yeah, I yeah, felt for sure. like yeah. It seemed like you're really stable over the short putts too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and that's that's what I was missing with the longer putter. Mm -hmm. It just. It just was again didn't fit my my style or, or my my play style cool. very well. So yeah, and do you use a particular ball or is it just kind of hodgepodge balls? Uh, here lately, I've been using whatever's in the bag. Um, yeah. You know, I like a softer ball, so um, I'm gonna give the new Kirkland balls a try. Yeah, I've heard they're really good. Um, you know, honestly, the ball doesn't necessarily matter to me mm -hmm. as long as it's softer. You know, if I can pick it up and kind of dig my thumbnail into a little bit, like that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't want something that's just gonna rock hard. Just gonna be rock hard and just rock it off the ground anywhere it goes, yeah. or you know, not spin at all. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, today I played a mix of uh, some Titleist balls, and you know, again, I I feel like I'm I'm a ball hound when it comes to it. I left today with more balls, more than, balls. I, more balls than I started yeah. with. So yeah, well, stuff on the rough like today just eats your ball. Oh yeah, you just hunt, you know regular shots. Yeah, and yeah. we'd look for ten minutes and not find a ball. It's just, pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Any, any other trinkets in your bag? Yeah, so I've got a couple of golf towels. that are, that are my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was a kid, my family took a trip to Disney World. Okay. And uh, it was one of the last good memories I have of my dad. Oh wow. So yeah, I've had those ever since I was uh, thirteen. Okay. So they've been they've been around for quite a few years, and yeah, I just you know it's it's Disney characters, and you don't see them ever, and I love them. So, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you know, rangefinder. I've got a, a Bluetooth speaker that I carry. I like to listen to music while I play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, just you know, other odds and ends, cigar cutter, cigar holder, sure. stuff like that. So. Cool. Well, thanks for sharing, man. Of course. Appreciate it. Yeah. Of course. It was thanks for having me out. Yeah. Of course. My favorite part of Adam's bag has to be his veterinary putter. 
That Big Ben, I remember that I saw it uh, being used by Jim Furyk when he won, I think it was a US Open or some type of tournament. I, I didn't actually look it up, but I remember Jim Furyk used a very similar type of putter. And since then, I've actually always wanted one. I played around with a, a few at, um, at Golf Galaxy back when, way back when it was Golf Smith. And I remember they felt incredible. They looked incredible. They were easy to line up. So I really thought it was cool that he had found one on Facebook Marketplace and brought it out to use. 